Hello, it's Mr. Ballion here. I'm just going to say good morning <laughs> for school. All right, guys, uh, this is going to be a good one. It's going to be a number of tutorials based on the, um, uh, the challenge I've placed here for my students. Uh, here's an item that I found in a neighborhood of our school. Um, and since it's my grade 12 class, uh, we will model this and unwrap it and texture it. That's the unit we're on anyway. So this will be like a challenge to see where they're at gauging uh, everyone's level of modeling, unwrapping, and texturing. So I'll do this. I'll analyze this right now. Uh, it's a pillar in the neighborhood, I guess, uh, into a park kit. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking three sections. The base, um, the base down here, the crown, and part of the the post here. Okay, so one, two, three, three sections we're talking about. All right, so I'm going to do this quickly, and I'm thinking in terms of maybe this is two feet by four here. Altogether, it's about five feet, right? So we'll start off uh, Maya, and I'll go to my, um, actually, let's do it from here. Go to my settings here, and it's in feet. So if you want to make things accurate, you might as well come in here. Foot, degrees, whatever, frames, don't worry about it. So save at this point. So our settings are set up. So the minute I start in, of course, I should be in polygons. There we go. And I select on a block here. This should be one by one. Okay. So if I go to width at this point, change that to two. Notice that's two feet. Height, let's say it's four feet. Tab one more time. Two. There it is. Since this is four feet high on the Y, go up two feet. Oops, not five. Two. I'm in the dark here. And we're on the ground level. Okay. So. All right. I'm just naming it column. Okay. There's that. Now I'll make another one. Um, I'm going to just do it from scratch again. So there it is. Uh, you can see in the bottom there. And again, this one will be, let's say, width of, let's say, 2.2. .2. Tab, let's keep it at 0 0.5. And 2.2. .2. Okay, that's good. I'm going to call this base. And we'll create another one. Five. Frame this all. Pressing F, you can see that already there, right? So, if I just uh, zoom out a touch, you can see what's going on. For this exercise, I'll have shading wireframe on shaded. Okay, so that's cool. I'm going to need to set up my project as well in a minute. Okay, so what did I do with this one? I think I'll do the crown exactly the same amount. I could duplicate it, but I want to do it from scratch just because, uh, you know, just because. It's good for practice, that's why. So one more time, four for wireframe. Ooh, come on, four. There it is. And there's my piece in here, W. And I'm just going to bring it up here for fun. And let's do this. Let's go at 2.2 uh, .2 like before. Uh, 0.5, which is really six inch. Oops, uh, I should have tab tabbed already with my mouse. Tab, and 0.5 is six inches roughly and then 2.2 .2 again and I'm gonna call this one crown okay those are the three pieces right okay and let's go to shaded mode that's what I'm talking about right here if I go to my visual wherever that is oh yeah the goal guys for sure is this I had this open for you guys and I'll show you again this is a stylized version of it here in terms of first stage, second stage, third stage. I'll paint it more similar um, to the one that you saw in the picture. Okay, so the unwrapping, we'll get to that. Okay, you see here, maybe I'll do that for the crown and the base over there. That's what you're gonna get to. All right, so here's the section of the, of the shaft here. We've got this section. I mean, I could have made all that as one. I could keep this on its own. That's fine, it doesn't matter. Okay, all good, so let's do it. Minimize this. There it is. Okay. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I can actually bring this into my view. Uh, but I just want... Okay, so you see, let's do the bottom one right now. Okay, so you can see there's two sections to this. So if I do a quick cut in here, uh, Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop, right in there. Okay. W, get out. So that's pretty cool. I can come in here and uh, let's view that picture again. 
and there it is. Uh, let's see, so it's tapering in here, right? So that's something we need to think about right now. So in that situation, double click the edges. Let's see here, boom, boom. I'm uh, going to do this harder, I guess. Double click. Doesn't work. I'll have to do it individually, no worries. One, two, three, four. And then we'll press R for scale from the center cube. And I'll bring it in like that. That's not bad. Cool. All right. W to get out. Actually, let's start doing this properly here. File. Project window. Okay. So uh, period five Maya. That's cool. I can come in here, uh, save all my work at a new location. And let's go to documents Maya quickly if I can find it. Maya work and projects period five uh, somewhere over here. Period 5 Maya, and then we'll go Design Challenge, okay? We're going to call this Design Challenge. That's the folder. Select, and then we're going to call this Pillar. Oh, yeah. So we'll leave all this as is, accept, and then step number two, set project, come back and hit pillar, beautiful, set, and then we'll do a quick file save scene as. It should be in the scenes folder inside pillar which is inside design challenge good stuff so I'll, I'll start with uh, pillar underscore 01 and then I'm gonna give a footnote here like a base that's what I'm starting okay so that's cool that's done alright so let's look at our picture again and now we're looking at the crown it seems like it's pointy over there uh, so we've got one two so let's see if I use this method so we'll go one section two three four five six well there's a lot of cuts okay two right here so um, and then three four five six cuts if I want to do all that at one shot I think it's not a bad idea hmm okay so let's start with the top here so keep our lives simple all right so I'm gonna select this piece here and as always whoops right here oh I'm in edge mode already so let's insert edge loop right about there okay um, do another one, and that's that. W, get out. Um, let's go to face quickly, and in here I'm going to scale just like I did the other one. Okay, so I'm just going to bring it down to something like that. Okay, um, this will be actually a good exercise to continue in orthographic. Um, it's cool. I mean, that works for me. Let's spin around a touch, and I'll raise it a touch. Okay, I could even make that even smaller if I wanted to. So, like, really, really small. Okay, there you go. We're cool. We're good with that. Okay, so let's think about this. Actually, I know why I did that separately. Okay, so back to our image. So we've got that part knocked out. I think I'm going to keep this part here, part of the, the shaft here, okay? This base, uh, the, the column here. So we got the next one. One, two, three more to go, okay? So let's see how that works. Um, I'm thinking possibly expanding this a bit more. So I'll double click on this. Today, our double, it's not working, is it? Okay, so here's a technique for you. Uh, quickly go into orthographic. Uh, let's go to front view down here. Frame it. Whoa, baby. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so edges, right? Edges. Select all these edges and then hold shift, deselect that one. Why am I doing this? No idea. So let's continue. Mesh tools, insert edge loop. Let's do the next one. One, two. For now, let's just keep it simple. All right? Back to perspective view. Must have had a reason for it. Okay, so if I double click on this, good. R, let's bring that in. Okay, right from the center. That's nice. In this situation, I think it would be good to bring them all in. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we'll, well, you'll get what I mean in a second here. So, uh, boom, boom. Actually, yeah, I'll just bring that in. Double click here. This would have been good if I had my snaps on because then I could do things in um, according to percentage snaps. So there's this, there's that one. Okay, so obviously I need more cuts in here. Uh, let's look at our reference. Oops. One, sorry. Boom, 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 boom. Right there, and it's not coming up. There it is. Hello. 
So we've got that one, which kind of comes down quite a bit. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to press W here and double click this one. W, quickly, and bring it down because it's got a nice frame to it. Okay, so that's what I was thinking earlier. We'll make this a touch bigger. Oh, see what happened? Didn't go all the way around. It's good to possibly stay in wireframe sometimes to uh, see if you're getting the full loop. For some reason, I'm not getting it today, so it's okay. Spin around, option, hold shift, option, boom. Okay, I've got all four here, and I'll bring this down, and I'll just go to R. And Okay, so we'll go like that for now. And I will add the next cut in here, insert edge loop, somewhere like that, and one underneath it, obviously, and R quickly on the one that we just made. See? There, and then I can come on here, double click. I think I have the full ring. Yes, I do. And then bring that in as well okay and I think we're doing pretty good there yeah and profile looks good okay so back to my reference and then what do we got here one two okay, I'm just gonna do one more cut and move on okay you guys get where I'm going with this for the sake of this uh, the length of this uh, video we don't want it to be too long so do the same thing insert edge loop quickly mesh tools Boom. Okay, R it, which is scale. I think that looks pretty good. Mm hmm. I'm not going to do that one. I'll just do this one here. Yeah, that's it. And then, and that did all of it. Cool. And then we'll bring this one in. Boom. Double click. Not doing it. Okay. So, panel orthographic front view. Let me quickly get this all. Go like that. Sorry. I'm just going to get the bottom one, and then I'll hold Shift and deselect those ones. Cool. And then check it out. Yeah, four. And that looks pretty good. It's almost lined. Beautiful. Okay, I'm good with that. And uh, let's go to Object Mode. If it doesn't click, you got to click somewhere else, guys. Object Modes. Okay, W, quick, somewhere over here. Not bad, right? Okay, so I can take the whole thing and expand it a touch, just a wee bit. There we go, just a little more, and that's cool. I think that's good. I'm okay with that. So five, excellent. So we'll go into perspective view quickly. We'll do it this way, perspective. That's our first stage. Okay, so our blocking is in. All right. Uh, one more thing. We noticed that there's a there's a there's this kind of material over here. Let's look at it for a second. Come on. There we go. This kind of um, stonework continues here, okay? So I don't know how they really made this. Are these separate or not? Um, but we're going to add this in this area, okay? So this component here, which is stonework, um, concrete work, I mean, it'll be there. So let's do it. Insert edge loop again and pop one over here. That's good enough. W, you're out. Okay. So um, so this is my blocking. I'm all right with this, and this is a good time right now to actually save another version. Command Shift S, and then um, so I'll call this blocking complete. So I'll just type in blocking. Change my number to two. Okay, good enough. Save as. All right. So Command Shift S, and here we begin my unwrapping at this point. Three and unwrapping. All right. Our goal here is to place this object, this asset here in a game. So we'll take it into Unity later. Hopefully that'll be part of my tutorial as well at some point. Okay, cool. So a couple things. Um, let me duplicate this for a second and slide it over and you'll get what I'm about to do here. So if we're gonna texture this, do we really need the bottom? And my answer is uh, negative. Don't need it. So that you delete. What do you think of that? Right off the bat, right? So that's what I'm going to do to that one. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, frame. I'm going to do the same thing for all the pieces. So let's look at this. Let's start from the bottom, okay? And now let's look at our location. X, Y, Z, zero, right? Awesome. So slide over. Face. And delete. Spin around. 
delete. Bye bye. Object mode, we're done. Okay, so if I want to bring it back to the center, which is a great way to work, done. How sweet is that? Okay, so that's the power, guys, of using your uh, channel box and looking at your translations. Okay, again, we're going to do the same thing here. And I'm going to come in here quickly. And let's see. Uh, come in here with face. Boom. Delete. Spin around. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What would happen there? Command Z on that, people. Mm -hmm. Yes, see ya on that one. And the bottom. Bye-bye. Okay. Object. Cool. Okay, we're ready. And where is that? Change it to zero. Sweetness. Look at that. Okay. And I'll do the same thing down here. Face. Boom. Bye-bye. And let me spin around. Inadvertently, I haven't selected anything else. We're good to go. Awesome. Object mode. Cool. And then we'll bring both these to zero. Oop, oops, my apologies. It shouldn't have been there. Uh, let's Command Z that. Come on, come on. Let's get back. There we go. Okay, so let's look at this. Um, and X is there. Okay, so that's X. How about zero on that? Cool. Excellent. So look at the um, the colors. We know red is X, uh, green is Y, and Z is blue. Blue. So this is cool. I think I'll. Uh, I'm going to stop here. I'll save this out uh, in Camtasia, get back to you guys as part two, and I'll start unwrapping, depending how long my time is right now. So what are we looking at? Oops, sorry, this one here. Uh, let's, uh, let's pause recording. I'll be back.